Hey guys, and welcome to part two of my journey through motherhood with MS. We're now at the part of the journey where Landon is born, Landon is here, and now we had to figure out what we were going to do as parents, like how we were going to transition from Landon being safe and sound inside my belly to now being out in the world and how to take care of him in the best way. And I guess one of the first challenges we overcame was the realization that I wasn't going to be able to nurse him. This was a realization that we came to quite a while before he was born because we um, we knew that I had to get back onto medication, I had to start sleeping again, I needed to get my pain under control, and I, I needed to start a disease modifying drug, which I'm no longer on, but at that time that was the plan. Um, and for a while it was difficult because I, as any mother would do, read the baby books, googled it, listened to other people talk about how nursing is the best and breast is best and breastfeeding is the best and, you, and all of these conversations were going on and although yes nutritionally breastfeeding is the best I quickly came to the realization that it was not the best for Landon and it was not the best for our family or our situation um, and not aside from the fact that it wasn't good for Landon because of him receiving anything that I ate or or took medication wise that's the obvious but I clearly needed sleep and if I was the one that was going to be up with Landon in the night doing all the feedings obviously I wasn't getting my sleep my husband luckily has taken that job on full force since the day he was born and up until now he still sleeps with the monitor beside him he has always been the one to get up and do the feedings um, and even though Landon is a great sleeper he still is the one if you know if he's up in the night to, today, to this day, he, he's still the one that gets up with him. Um, if I was the one to do that, I would not be able to, to function in the morning and I would not be able to take care of Landon in the morning. If I nursed, my husband would not be able to do that, obviously. So it um, allowing other people to be able to help with the feedings has been one of the best decisions that we've ever made. Not only was my husband able to help, but when he went to work, my parents would come over during the day and or friends and family, especially in the in the first few weeks, and they would be able to help me as well. And obviously, as, as many moms know or parents know, it is such a huge transition to go from one minute you're not a mother to one minute the next minute you are. And it's always way harder than you ever could imagine. You know, I always pictured being a mother nursing I always pictured being a mother being difficult because that's just what everybody said but you don't really know how difficult it is until you experience it and and that's leaving MS out of the picture and then when you add being a mother with a chronic disability and being an you know a mother who is not able-bodied it just presents issues and challenges that I couldn't even have dreamt of in my wildest dreams and I'm definitely going to be talking about that in my next video. But I just wanted to touch a little bit more on why bottle feeding was absolutely the best decision for Landon and our family. Um, aside from the help that I received, it has been a great way of socializing Landon. And he has met, you know, or not met, but had so many people in his life loving him and caring about him. And to this day, he is such a social kid he'll go to anybody he'll be breast or fed, he'll be um fed lunch by anybody he'll be fed snacks by anybody he'll be you know anything that anybody wants to do with him play with him he as long as we trust that, that these people he will trust them and he will go to them and i really feel that that's a huge part of just um how we raised him in the first couple months and couple years of his life not only that but the first Within the first two months, Landon was in his crib sleeping on his own. We um, we never fed him to sleep or obviously nursed him to sleep or rocked him to sleep or anything like that because we knew that that was going to be making it more difficult for ourselves in the future. We wanted to make things as easy as possible. So if we had to go through a couple nights of hardship getting Landon to just go to sleep on his own in his crib for two nights, we were willing to do that because we know or we knew it would pay off in the long run. And luckily, Landon was a really good sleeper as a baby as well. And he didn't even really have a, an issue going in his crib at two months. 
Uh, for us, we knew the monitor was, monitor was there, we knew it worked, and it was his room was right next door, so um, it was a fairly easy transition for our family, and to this day, Landon will just go to bed anywhere, any crib, he will just go to bed and he will go to sleep, and um, now he's having a few issues with being afraid of the dark, but up until now, he would just go whenever we said, no complaints, no tears, nothing, no bottle, we cut him cold turkey off of that at 18 months, um, and, and he's now to uh, totally um, potty trained, and he just goes to sleep, and, and that has made it easier on us. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is just whatever the decision is you make, whether it's nursing or bottle feeding or when and where you put your child to sleep or whatever the decisions you make, make sure that they're the best for you and not what you've read or not what you've heard, you know, not what somebody else has told you. Because what someone else tells you, they're coming from their side of things, they're coming from their experience, and they are likely not a mother or, or a family who deals with somebody that has a chronic illness and a chronic disability. It is a totally different playing field once you throw that into the mix. It is a huge deal. And never feel bad for having to make a decision that is um, kind of against the norm or against what the majority is doing. So I will catch you in the next video where I'll talk about sort of what I had always envisioned myself as a mother being and what it actually is and how I've um, come, how I've gotten over a lot of those, those issues. See you later guys. See you in the next video. Bye for now.